In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we'd like to continue showing you how to save time in your editing by using keyboard shortcuts. This is the third of three tutorials on the subject, and I've deliberately broken it down into three segments because I find if I have to memorize 20 or 30 new keyboard commands at the same time, I'm probably not going to learn any of them well. I'd like to encourage you to learn a few, try to implement them over time, and then look at some others and add sequentially. Let me cover some that I use occasionally that I find rather helpful. We'll stop our video here. One of the shortcuts I really like is how to import a media file. I often find myself in a project and want to add another piece of media and I don't have to use the mouse. I can simply hold the control key down and click on the Q, as in Queen or Quebec, the Q key, control Q. That will open my file system to the last place I found a file. I can navigate anywhere else I want to in my file system and then click on the file or files I want to include. We'll close that window for now. The next one I'd like to show you relates to how you can edit several different kinds of files. I have on track number two several files. We start with a title. Now to edit the title, I tend to want to click on the mouse twice, but once it's highlighted, all I need to do is press the F2 key. PowerDirector will go directly into my title designer. Or, if I'm working on a particle, I can highlight it, press the F2 key, and that will get me into my particle designer. I can also simply click on a pip object and press the F2 key, and I will get into my pip designer. Or, I can be on my effect track and click on an effect, press the F2 key, and that will get into my effect settings. So I find the F2 key almost universally helpful. Now the one thing it won't do, I'll close my effect window here, the one thing that it won't do is that if I'm using the title room and I have a title pro title, if I have the subscriber model of PowerDirector or if I have my ultimate version, I need to double click if I'm working inside of the new blue titler app inside of PowerDirector. I can't simply press the F2 key. But the F2 is otherwise universally helpful one click away from editing any of these various objects that you happen to see on the screen. While we're here, let's click on another title. I'm going to click on this one and press the F2 key. And that will get me into my title designer for this title. Now there's a very quick way to align stuff in the title. We're used to control B for bold, control I for italic, but another one you may not be familiar with is control L will left align align and control R will right align align. Now we would think that control C will center it, but remember control C is our copy. And so they've replaced control C with control E so control E is the center key and control R is right align, control L is left align. So if you want to do those features, it's a very nice shortcut. I'd like to also show you one more option that we have here. We'll get out of our title designer. I'll cancel out here and not save the changes. One thing that we also often do in our normal projects is we're, we're cutting pieces out, or removing them. We have here, for example, uh, an item that we do not want. It's Christmas trees coming down on the right. And I can click on it and right click and I have several options on how to cut or delete it. Let me show you some keyboard shortcuts. If I hold the shift key down and press the delete key, it will remove that item, but it will not move anything else in the track. So shift delete is the least destructive. I don't have to worry about having the following items out of alignment with shift delete. It will only take that object out. On the other hand, if I want to move an ob remove an object, I'll click on this track here and I want to fill the gap that, that on that track only, I hit control delete. 
Control Delete will move everything back. But notice it only moves what's on that track. If this text were aligned with this object, I wouldn't want to do that. I'll do Control Z to undo. The best way to move things if you want them to stay aligned on all tracks is use Alt Delete. That will fill the gap on every track as much as possible. If I press Alt Delete, you notice it didn't totally work because I had a title below there. I'll do Control Z to remove it. Let's assume I don't have anything behind it. I'll move my title over. And now I just want to re remove this track and fill the gap on all tracks. I do my Alt Delete on here and it moves everything over that's to the right of the track that I deleted. So these three options are very helpful. Shift Delete will just delete the object. It will touch nothing to the right. Control Delete will fill a gap only on that track. And Alt Delete will fill a gap on all tracks. So those are three very useful ways in which you can do some keyboard shortcuts when you're deleting elements in CyberLink PowerDirector.